Huddly ho neighbors, I'm in the West Adams district and you are looking at the Frederick Hastings Ringe House. So this is a ginormous mansion. Uh, it's sort of a combination of neo-romanesque style but also French chateau stuff. High quality castle living here in Los Angeles. So this dates back from 1902. Uh, it was the first house in the West Adams Heights uh, neighborhood. A very fancy Tony neighborhood. And it was designed by Frederick Rorig, who uh, designed a whole lot of mansions for the well-to-do, including the Andrew McNally Mansion in Altadena. He did the Woodbury Story House, also in Altadena, and also the Hotel Green in, uh, in Pasadena, right, in Old Town. So this one was for Frederick Hastings Ringe. He was one of the wealthiest dudes in California at the time. So he was uh, president of an oil company, president of a life insurance company, president of a real estate company. Uh, he also owned Malibu, so he and his wife May were the last private owners of Malibu before the government secured right of way um, to uh, put PCH through it. And in fact, his wife May was famous for uh, trying to fend off the feds for decades in the uh, early decades of the 20th century um, so that she could own the land and do with it what she will. Uh, but she also has some wonderful stuff about her legacy. She founded Malibu Potteries, uh, which uh, created some lovely tile that are used all over the place, including at the Adamson House in Malibu, which was owned by her daughter. Frederick died in 1905, just a few years after moving into this house, and uh, may continue living here for decades until 1941. Uh, it went to her daughter and then her daughter donated it to the Catholic Church, who turned it into a convent for a while. In the 70s, it became a private residence again. From the outside, it looks super cool. What I've seen of the inside is even more spectacular. Glass and like all kinds of inscriptions on the mantles and over the doors and stuff. Um, and also, Frederick was a great lover of California history and uh, a sort of an amateur anthropologist himself. So he had a big collection of archaeological artifacts and art, some of which was housed in a little museum uh, at this house, which I don't think is around anymore. Too bad. The other wonderful thing about this house, it is right across the street from the first AME church by Mr. Paul R. Williams, an absolute legend. Thanks for doing LA with me.